Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're doing some more That Is Not Eden. This is Eden. We're doing some more Eden runs today. Not like a sort of pseudo streaking, but also, oh my god. We start with the, the Crown of Light and also Portable Slot. Portable Slot, less meaningful. Crown of Light, amazing. Uh, and also, really good HP. This is a fantastic start on this run. I showed off the seed, right? SG299LWA. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Portable Slot, I think it's a little bit more interesting than Mom's Bra. Of course, we need money, and then we need to probably find, like, second secret rooms to get the maximum value out of it, but still. Uh, it, it's a good setup. Crown of Light just sets us up so nicely. I don't know exactly how Crown of Light works, but I have, like, a rough idea. In the same way that I have a rough idea, like, you know, how, how a car works, but if you require me to, um, you know, fix my carburetor, I'm gonna have to take it into the shop, you know? Um... If, I, I also don't know what a carburetor does, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, I believe that it means you get a huge damage bonus until you get hit on a room. After you get hit, you lose that damage bonus, but you gain it back on the very next room. As long as you have full health, or maybe it's not even related to full health. It's You know, the mechanics work along that axis, though, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's, uh, it's really good. In a weird way, it's kind of like inverse of... Um, I'm trying to think of what... Like inverse shoop the whoop in that it's much worse on Hush and Boss Rush, where you're going to take damage anyway, and probably lose the damage bonus sooner rather than later, but apart from that, there's a, there's an awful lot to like here. That is not our second secret room, which is disappointing, but then we actually got a nickel, and that's not a nickel at all. That's a that's a two nickels taped together. It's a dime, so I am going to actually go check out our shop, and now you'd imagine probably for a single penny or a single bomb, we could bomb our donation machine. Sorry, my... Mind is still a little bit under the influence of whatever's attacking my immune system. Seven cents. Pretty much a no-brainer. Seven cent uh, map. Most seven cent items are going to be, you know, pretty high on my list of things to get. But uh, a seven cent map that doesn't prevent us from getting an arcade on the next floor is definitely way up there. Uh, we also got a spirit heart and a golden heart. So it would be awesome if we could actually get a... Uh, blood bank on the next floor. Because that golden... Actually, we don't get the money until the golden heart... Is exhausted, which means we'd have to lose the spirit heart first. But anyway, I digress. We can just figure that this is positive right now. The secret rooms do not appear to be in a likely situation or a likely uh, orientation, unfortunately. So I think we'll just head down to the next floor. That feels like something that maybe has been reworked in Afterbirth or post Afterbirth a little bit is the way the secret rooms are laid out, but I'm not totally sure. On these early floors, even if, we, you know, we have the map, but even with the map, we're going to be looking out for pretty much every terminal that we can get to here. want to make sure that we can maximize our advantages, but considering we have Crown of Light, I'm really thinking that, you know, we're going to be set damage-wise pretty darn quickly here. Ooh, it's a tempting place to use a bomb. This is actually a really nice run, because I haven't ever had the ability, and this is what Eden is great for, I haven't really had the ability to, to see how I feel about Crown of Light, except in, like... Greed mode or many situations in which I was already like way too overpowered now We kind of get a chance to evaluate it on its own merits, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like this is a this is a real good item I don't know if I'd put it on the same level as like a uh, a Brimstone mom's knife but It feels like it could be like equivalent to death's touch or something. Oh, we actually did get the money for taking rotten baby there So clearly I don't know how this works uh, rotten baby's a no-brainer Guppy's Paw is like a slight brainer. I do want Portable Slot back, even if it cost me the Spirit Heart. And it did. But that's, you know, that's kind of the cost of doing business. I assumed that we would take damage there, but I wanted the Guppy item regardless. Okay. Every time we come into this room, I should reiterate, you know, if you're wondering why I'm half excited about Portable Slot, it has cool synergies. Uh, I really shouldn't have blown up that TNT. It has cool synergies with... Second secret rooms. If you find... I'll, I'll just blow this one up. If you find uh, eternal hearts, or spirit hearts, or black hearts, then the hearts that would get paid out from portable slot actually become those. It's like using a hematemesis. Uh, or hematemesis. I forgot how they pronounce it in the game. But anyway, um, it's like using that on a second secret room. You basically have the ability to create, ideally, a ton of eternal hearts. Basically get, you know... Maybe with 23 cents, you can see yourself getting four or five uh, Eternal Hearts on a single floor. That's, you know, two to three HP up. That's really, really huge. Or at least could be. 
depending on the situation you've kind of created for yourself. Uh, we still got an item room and a shop to go to. We still, you know, would like to get a key to facilitate this. Could use a bomb to get a bomb. You know, we're, we're kind of killing time in here anyway. It's going to take us a little while, so we might as well go for it. And it's, it's so hard to get out of this mindset of like, man, I do not need to worry about boss rush at all if I don't want to. If I want to, sure, we can go for it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that was uh, the cartridge. I didn't even realize we had it. But, you know, I'll take the extra invincibility for sure. Um, it's like the third time in my entire life I've ever had the cartridge work out for me. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if we want to, we can. But unlike the dailies, it's it's sort of optional. So I can, I can play with time a little bit more than we're otherwise able to. I haven't gotten Crown of Light back yet. Do we need to be at full HP to experience the, the wonder that is Crown of Light? If so, I've made a terrible mistake going as deep as I did there. Uh, hopefully this is our secret room. It is. And then all we need for this to be good is for us to find a key in the shop, which we did. Uh, PhD will fill up our red hearts and give us a pill. We have PhD that gives us an unknown pill. No, it's not an unknown pill. It's just three question marks. Okay. So let's not open that. Let's not take advantage of that pill. I think it only leads to disaster. So we've almost got an inverse whore of Babylon. Now I'm starting to get a little bit of a feel for how this item works. It's an inverse whore of Babylon. Um, that's going to, I mean, basically just, I'm going to invert the way that I feel about whore of Babylon. Well, I'm not going to invert the way I feel. I'm going to invert my, my methodology, if you will. So instead of, you know, endeavoring to have as low HP as possible, we'll be trying to push it to the limit a little bit. It's kind of neat. I really thought it was just if you got hit on a room, you lost it. But uh, that's actually way more punishing this way because if you have like 12 red heart containers and you get hit once, it could take you a while to get it back. If you get hit six times, it'll take you forever. This is what they're trying to trick me, right? I took PhD and I got this pill. It's going to give me a curse. Didn't hear anything drop there, so I'm assuming there's no benefit. Uh, as far as like how this run is going right now... Let's just say I'm pretty stoked that we've got Rotten Baby, because our damage leaves a little bit to be des- Oh, that was so bad. Our damage leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not horrible, and uh, Crown of Light carries it a lot, but Rotten Baby is a nice little supplement to that when Crown of Light is not working because of my own idiocy, so... So, I think increasingly, wrinkles keep being found in Crown of Light. Like, for example, you lose the damage bonus when you get hit. You also lose it when you're not at full health. Like, you lose it permanently versus uh, temporarily. I understand now. May or may not have been worth it, but... Uh, I'm glad we got the money regardless. Might be able to do something with that. Even with only one key. Probably try to hit up our item room first. Our shot speed is also really bad. I'm not sure if that's... Oh, what? I'm not sure if that's a side effect of Crown of Light or what, but... I would much prefer to be shooting slightly faster. Come on. Pop up. Pop up. Just killed a man. Polyphemus. That's a very good get, obviously. Our rate of fire is going to be horrible, but... I think uh, this goes a long way towards making sure we're not going to get hit as much. Because basically we can like... Well, it looks like we're like 10 shot... Little Chad here. Which is really good because we also have Rod and Baby to kind of like supplement that. Okay, and we'll take Little Chad with us, of course. Uh, and I think in here we might just take nothing. Ah, uh, tell you what, I'll take Missing Page 2. My theory being that swapping one red heart for one black heart is actually pretty good for us right now because it makes it less likely that we won't be at full HP, if that makes any sense. It always counts as full HP if you've, if you've exclusively got spirit hearts. It does put us in a little bit of a glass cannon situation, and it doesn't add too much to our, uh, to our overall run, but uh, I still think it's a positive thing, probably. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out one way or the other pretty soon. Still relying on... You may be one day finding a second secret room, and then we can use, uh... We can trade a bomb for a key here. Maybe using, a uh, Portable slot for the first time in our entire lives, which we should have done on the last floor to try to get a key to go to the shop. Sometimes I just forget that I actually have it. So that's probably our second secret room. I would be very surprised if that were not our second secret room back there. We also have PhD giving us Addicted. What the heck? 
In what world is that good? Oh right, we don't have a, a bomb anymore because we used it. In what world is addicted a good pill here? Alright, Gertie's absolutely eating it. Again, anything as a damage upgrade helps out Rotten Baby a ton, so I'm very pro Polyphemus. We got Mom's Lipstick, and I was actually hoping for a Krampus fight, to be honest with you. Either a Krampus fight or like nine lives, because we really can't afford to take any other deals right now. It's a little, I'm getting a little tight here. Lump of Coal is probably exactly what we would have wanted. Yeah, shots get larger as they travel. Hmm. Well, come on, second secret room. Okay, and it's full of red chests that have pills. One is addicted. One's balls of steel. Okay, that's good. Let's just see what happens if we get a payout. It's a pill. Maybe they exclusively pay out with pills and bombs. Seems okay so far. And money. Okay, I'm pretty sure that it's just no matter what. We're it's normal. Yeah, we just got a regular red heart, so... I'm pretty sure this is just par for the course. Let's keep like 20 cents so we can still buy something from our shop. We don't want to be out of here. We don't need to be out of here at least for another uh, probably three and a half minutes. So let's uh, let's keep pushing it. Now we can actually go to our curse room as well. And nine lives would still be a beautiful pickup. Couple of pills. One of which is balls of steel, right? No, explosive diarrhea. And retrovision. So PhD is just knocking it out of the park so far. We got a retrovision, an addicted, a pill that would give us Curse of the Maze. That's the question mark pill. If I remember correctly, people told me the question mark pill always, always, always gives you Curse of the Maze. We did also pick up, and I, I didn't really uh, lampshade it, which I should have because it can be meaningful, but we got uh, three battery charges there. But we also got the mom transformation completed, which is probably good. The most probable outcome, hot bombs are okay. The most probable outcome is that they're probably just not going to be very meaningful for us at all. The, the knife traveling behind us, but with something like Nod Leaf, or even just like permanent Polaroid invincibility, it could be. It may not be, but it could be. This could also be our secret room. Should remember we're immune to explosions as well. So I don't have to worry so much about that kind of stuff. We're really not going to get a key easily here. I hate you for trying to force my hand here, game. I mean, I, we should win this one, but we should we should win like everyone is my my mindset, whether that's true or not. It's like the best luck we've ever had on a on a run that has also had a lot of terrible luck. I know that makes no sense, but I'm like, we have no consumables, but we've got pretty good damage, but we you know exclusively get bad pills despite having PhD. But you picked up uh, Polyphemus and the mom transformation, but. You know, we don't have a good spacebar item, but you go three battery charges. You know, it's like we're we're constantly getting torn here. Thinking like every room, spend a penny, try to get some consumable, expedite the process of us. You know, hopefully picking up some keys. Another penny, and we're done. Okay, well, down to the next floor. At this point. I don't see myself doing boss rush, so if we want to use the devil card to just expedite a boss, that seems completely fine to me. The only reason we'll do boss rush is if we get like a teleportation card out of one of these. Oh my god. Okay, I'm an idiot, but also, you know what? You had your chance, man. You blew it. Out of sight and out of mind. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics to Kelly Clarkson's magnum opus, Since You've Been Gone. Don't even try to tell me that Since You've Been Gone is not Kelly Clarkson's magnum opus, by the way. I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. Perks. Perks are great, actually. Um, there's a lot of good cards here. Even Suicide King in its own way could be interesting for us. Perks is really nice for its ability to help us on the self-sacrifice room, though, which could be an interesting path for us to take here. I'm not saying we're gonna do it, I'm just saying it does open it up for us. And we don't have to teleport to Mega Satan, we could just go to get the key pieces so we can fight Mega Satan if we want. That requires a self-sacrifice room and a little bit more HP and probably a little bit more confidence uh, in the run than I have right now as well. But it could be a fun route to take. We'll see. Maybe we can use the self-sacrifice room to make the runs consistently more enjoyable instead of just me perpetually talking about uh, teleporting. I know I got some like uh, positive, uplifting messages from people. I must have seemed like overly negative when I said like some people don't like watching the dailies because I harp on the same strategy over and over. 
Uh, some people were like, F the haters, man. I'm like, eh, they're not really being haters. They're just, you know, it's personal preference. But I do appreciate that a lot of people like to watch the dailies as well. Um, you know, the dailies are my favorite to record, record most of the time because they bring out that, like, competitive side a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's not for everybody. And that's fine. The dailies, uh, the, there's no risk of them going anywhere. I, I really like, if nothing else, the opportunity to, like, consistently compare performance. Sexually speaking, of course. Um, let's keep making our way down here. That might be worth it. We'll, we'll see. Perks also maybe makes... Like, it, it makes sense to use on, like, Isaac or something like that. Wow, a health upgrade actually makes me seem like a fucking big old baby for not... Uh, or for actually complaining earlier about our pills. The problem with it right now is that we do also not have full HP. And that's bad, but power pill just worked for us. Or, sorry, uh, cartridge just worked for us. Puberty. Just trying to get, like, a single red heart. There we go. That'll take us back to Crown of Light. Okay. Shop. And for once, we actually have enough keys to, like, feel relatively confident in being able to do something. Guppy? Not Guppy, but two more perks pills. Okay, we'll definitely buy this. We may not need this, but we'll buy it anyway. We'll buy this anyway. It's a tiers upgrade that's huge. We'll buy Spider Mod. We're buying everything. We bought the Hero Font. That's awesome. Okay, now let's get the heck out of here. I don't know what we're going to do with three perks pills. I guess we could leave. Yeah, now we can actually, like, play a self-sacrifice room and leave in the middle of it, so... There is some value associated with that, I think. Let's try for a black heart or something. Nice. Yera, the king of... No, it's not Yera. Algiz is weird in that it's better than... Ooh, another tier's upgrade. It's better than uh, perks on a literal level, but for the functionality we actually wanted, it's worse. You know, if we want to use it on a self-sacrifice room, it just does nothing for us, so... Definitely not advisable. We've already been to both item rooms. Yeah, we got Quad Shot, which I think was a, a no-brainer pickup. Probably. And then we got uh, Brother Bobby, which is just okay. Into the shop. The shop was quite nice for us. Now we can just make our way to the boss, and maybe along the way we'll find a teleport card. Maybe along the way we'll find a self-sacrifice room. If not, that's also fine. We can find a self-sacrifice room later, or not. I'd, I just, I'd rather find, like, a, you know, Tech X or something like that than a self-sacrifice room. Not that they're... You know, mutually exclusive like that. Rate of Fire is holding it down here, too. Blank Rune was Perthrow, which also made another Blank Rune, weirdly enough. Um, I don't know what to think about that, but I'm going to keep perks for now, because now that I know what they actually do, they could be functional for me. Sixth Sense might give us, like, a little bit of an inroad as well on our self or second secret room. Not self-sacrifice. Can't believe we made that dodge. Uh, but let's not worry about it. Okay, well, technically, most of the time, I would be all in on, like, Headless Horseman, or the, the Pony, I should say, instead of uh, Portable Slot. I probably should. Portable Slot, you had your chance. You didn't blow it. You did okay. But I do feel some disappointment about the way that our... Our relationship went down there. We'll take the Polaroid. Self-sacrifice room. Or, sorry, the curse room. Gives us black powder, which is okay. And demon baby, which is really not. And then we get the wafer. HP. Robo baby. Remote detonator. So, let me level with you. Uh, the wafer is probably worth doing boss rush for. If we had to do boss rush. But in this situation, it comes down to... That was just so stupid of me to keep talking while waiting for the enemy to run into me. Um, it comes down to... Do we need to do boss rush to win the run? Do we need the wafer to win the run? No. I don't even think we need the wafer to beat Hush. So, do we care about the points that we get on this run? Not really. So, I think it's more enjoyable, but also more advantageous for us to... Uh, for us to just keep moving forward this way. If there's anything that people are offended about on this run, though, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the fact that I just keep leaving... Perthrow runes behind to take perks with us. What can I say? I'm trying, I'm trying a new thing. We'll see. I'm super stoked that we got Curved Torn. Really mitigates any concerns with our damage and also helps out Rodden Baby, which is even better. Um, very dumb of me to even come in on that one, but it ended up working out. 
All right, now we just want nine lives and another guppy item. And then I'll be set, you know? You got like six of the seven best damage items in the game or something silly like that. No problems. This has got to be our boss fight over here. I have to admit, I'm probably more likely to do Hush than to do Boss Rush. I think, you know, Hush was kind of like a rude awakening. And is a little annoying, I wouldn't dispute that. We'll blow up Judgment for the deal with the Devil Chance here. Um, but uh, is a little annoying without, a, without question. However, Boss Rush takes a long time. The, the difference is you can't cheese Boss Rush. Or sorry, you can't cheese the Hush fight, I guess. At least not in the way of just teleporting out after taking the item. But going down to the Hush fight does give you two guaranteed items in a shop. And then four golden chests alongside of it. So there is, you know, potential for getting some fun stuff there. I'll, I'll play it by ear when I get down there. I'd hate to die on the Hush fight. I'd also hate for it to take forever, but... Yeah, we'll take Contrary from below. Why not? We can also use Perks on the Hush fight. We'll see. We gotta save some keys if we're gonna do that. Mmm, this was a mistake. Although, with 14 bombs, get some nickels, yeah? Okay, now we got a little bit more purchasing power for the Hush shop if we want to do that. And... That ended up probably being worth it, right? Fate's Reward is gonna shoot out... Looks like Fate's Reward only shoots out a single shot, but considering we have, uh... Holy Light here, or Crown of Light, it's gonna be, uh... A not insignificant amount of damage, for sure. It's kind of like a weirdly self-fulfilling prophecy. Not self-fulfilling prophecy, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's like counterintuitive, because the more damage we do, the less damage Fate's Reward has to do to be meaningful, but also the more damage it does overall. It's, you know, it's a thing. That was awesome. I didn't even know that this room could pay out with the syringe. We're still pretty unlikely to get spun, but it would be awesome if we did. There's also that curse room back there, but at this... Oh, that was so dumb. At this point, I'm, I'm hedging my bets, I guess. You know, I'd like to do the curse room. I'd also like to maybe do Hush. I'm not totally sure yet. I'm still kind of on the fence about that one. We'll see, I suppose. I probably will not go back for the curse room, I'll tell you that. So we do have a secret room. Somehow we avoided getting hit there. We got Black Lotus, holy crap. Black Lotus, not only a rare item, but also a, a pretty darn good one. Messes up our permanent Polaroid invincibility, but, you know, uh, less concerned about that than I am having some raw HP to back ourselves up here. Wow, yeah, fuck that room. All right, almost all of Black Lotus's HP is gone. I wish it weren't, but it is. Could also get a deal with the devil on this floor, I always forget. We've been, like, really knocking it out of the park in terms of getting deals with the devil. I'm not saying that the deals we've gotten on this run have been awesome, but we need to at least give the game, you know, some props for hooking us up with a disproportionately high number of deals with the devil. I mean, the difference between a normal amount of deals with the devil and a disproportionately high amount is probably, like, you know, plus one or plus two, but still, it does make a difference. Okay. This fight should be very, very simple. Should use our our pony at, at times here. I'm kind of rolling here. I gotta admit, visions of a, at least a 10 streak dancing in my head right now. Certainly feels like... Uh, oh, yeah, we'll take Mob the Void. Certainly feels like it's gotten a little easier now that we're not playing as the Lost or the Keeper. I think that was like training with ankle weights for a while. Now that we've taken them off, we can run, you know, that much faster. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, I mean, Mom's Box of Trinkets, it's not going to give us a better trinket than we already have. Continuum, I don't know if it's good or bad. I guess we'll take the Exploding Fly. Continuum, I have to default to this idea. Is it more or less interesting to take Continuum than Sister Maggie, all other things being equal? It's definitely more interesting to take Continuum, so... We'll take Continuum. But this was a pretty poor haul for us on the on the Hush fight and on the whole. If our range is large enough, maybe we can sneak some Continuum shots around, but really it's mostly going to ben- Oh, there goes Crown of Light. It's mostly going to benefit us on um, smaller rooms, like on future floors. Mob the Void is a huge pickup, though, especially because our damage is really good. 
There's a lot of, a lot of busyness happening right now. I can barely tell what's going on, but I do have a lump of coal, right? I think. Did we, we fought Krampus? Yeah, because I remember being like, man, our HP is really bad. Thank God we fought Krampus. So we can benefit from standing back a little bit. We're just going to stay in here. This is where the commentary gets a little bit more sparse. As I try to commit all of the, my, my brain cycles to uh, making sure that we don't take any dumb damage here. We could also try to be heroes here. It's not just like a thinly veiled David Bowie reference in the wake of his death. And I'm not bringing that up just to be like, you know, D-A-E-R-I-P David Bowie. No, it's, uh, you know, this is my own little weird pseudo tribute, I guess. The outpouring of support for that stuff on, on Twitter was nice. I know there's a lot of people, I've been there myself. There's a lot of people who are like, Man, isn't it funny how, like, people take celebrity deaths hard, even though they weren't talking about that celebrity every single day of their life when they were alive? And I, I get that, man. Like, it's easy to be cynical. And and oftentimes you do feel the same way when, when someone dies and you're like, Hey, that's really sad. The dude who played, like, the mailman on a sitcom I watched for, like, two days died. I knew that guy. Like, you know, people have got to deal with stuff in their own way, of course, and maybe you had, like, an intimate relationship with that show that no one could tell you, like, you, you didn't. But it's always frustrating to see that kind of cynicism for, like, I mean, for anything, I guess. And I see it, I'm like, man, what does it hurt you if someone's, like, mourning in public about, like, a pop culture icon? It's not that they're trying to get, like, clout for having sympathy for someone dying. I don't know, this is even a subject I probably shouldn't have gotten into, but... You know, I always struggle, like, you know, what, what's my position as, like, a, a pseudo-public figure who's completely unrelated to stuff like that? I think you just, you know, tasteful kind of, like, sympathy and move on at the very least. But I do, I do hate seeing people who, like, see people dealing with their grief and then they're like, your grief's not real. I don't even know where I was going with this, but anyway. Um... We're almost done with the hush fight, so at least it was a meaningful conversation for that. We haven't even taken that much damage. I mean, we've taken a lot of damage, but mostly we've just picked up some extra stuff from uh, Mob the Void. Keep rolling around here. But I've been guilty of it myself, for sure, too. You'll be like, come on! Name one Bob Hope song, man! I bet you can... Look, you know, we've all gone through that period of being kind of like edgy jerks, I guess. And that's what makes it hurt even more. Um, we don't need anything else. We want to go up to the cathedral. Still only at 25 minutes here. Let's continue to move onwards. I mean, like, it's weird, you know, like... When someone dies, I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing this back, okay, this is gonna be, spoilers, uh, David Bowie died on, uh, Sunday night, but, um, it's, it's weird when someone dies and there's, like, a, a huge outpouring of support and you're like, man, I know it's not, like, a popularity contest, but this guy, like, affected a lot of people, and me too, I wasn't the hugest David Bowie fan, but, you know, when I was actually in a period where I listened to songs that were not just nothing but a G thing, I was like, yeah, gotta get into low, Gotta get into Station to Station. Gotta get into Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Like, you gotta check all that stuff out. Hunky Dory, of course. Uh, and it's influential. Plus, rocking out with Moonage Daydream in, in Rock Band, you know, maybe seems superficial. But still, like, it affected me a little bit. It's like one of your kind of cultural informants has died. It was, it's, it's just wild seeing it happen on Twitter. It seemed like a dude who would live forever, I guess. Which I'm, I'm pretty much copy and pasting wholesale from another tweet that I saw. Anyway, we're focusing on the Isaac run now. I've, I've processed it in my own unique way. By talking shit about it in a video, we'll be moving on. This run continues to, like, get stronger. At a strange pace. The big thing is, unlike the Hush fight, please just don't stupidly get hit, like, right off the bat and lose Crown of Light. This is the difference between the fight taking, like, you know, 30 seconds and it taking... 90 seconds, which is not really that big of a deal. It's very first world problems-esque, but got that done much faster. What did I do with my perks pill? Did I really trade it in for one makes you larger? I traded it in for uh, the shop on the hush fight, didn't I? You stupid idiot. OK, 
okay. Seraphim's okay. Blood of the Martyrs okay. Magnets not very good at all for us right now. Blank card could be great, but it's not going to be great for quite some time. We need to have a card that goes along with it, of course. This this should be an easy win, and it, you know, truth be told, it's probably been an easy win since we started with Crown of Light. But we do still need to do the requisite, you know, Isaac thing of don't fuck it up. As long as we can continue not fucking it up. Maybe pick up a, you know, a spirit heart or a demon heart here or there thanks to Ma of the Void. I think we're pretty much in good hands. Especially if we can just make it to the Isaac fight. If we are blue baby fight, I should say. And if we make it to the blue baby fight, we should be completely fine here. There it is. We got a black card. We got a few extra bombs. Use some invincibility. I wonder if we could actually land shots with Continuum by shooting like completely in the other direction. Is this worth the damage bonus we're getting from Lump of Coal? I'm gonna go ahead and guess probably not is the answer to that question, but it's kind of fun nonetheless. Thank you Continuum for injecting a little bit of spice into this run. For now though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching and I will... See you next time.